I am so, 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 so very excited to finally be sitting down to finally announce that finally TK Maxx and HomeSense have started stocking Halloween things. Now I did upload a vlog um, because there was a code orange about two weeks ago now where I picked up this awesome mug which I'll show you a bit more in detail in a minute but I got this from TK Maxx and this was pretty much like the only thing they had but it was still technically a code orange because technically the Halloween stuff was coming in and then I've been trying to get back into a TK Maxx or a HomeSense store literally the whole last week um I'm um, sure you've probably noticed I have been away I've been vlogging it I went up to Scotland and then I went to Whitby and I got back last night and on the way <sighs> Mike took me to HomeSense and oh my goodness they are in full 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 code orange there was a whole aisle of Halloween and it's only just starting I'm hoping I can go back tomorrow because uh, she needs more of the Halloween nurse. I'm gonna split what I bought into like two sections because I have this random thing from TK Maxx and then I have like a plethora of HomeSense stuff. Now, in case you're not aware, HomeSense is um, a sister company with TK Maxx. So stuff that you find in HomeSense, you can find in TK Maxx. Stuff you can find in TK Maxx, you can find in HomeSense. It's like a little bit vice versa. However, you kind of tend to get more in HomeSense because they just deal with like homeware and decorations, whereas TK Maxx obviously have the clothes and things too. However, you can find these in both. So, let's start with this. I got this from TK Maxx. As I said, I got it a couple of weeks ago. To be honest, since like I saw these come out originally, they had a few different versions. They had this one, they had a cat one, and a skull one. Since those, like, the, like, the first drop, I haven't seen these again. I'm glad I got it. I kind of got it as a rite of passage because not only was it the first item, but also it is covered in bats. And of course, I'm not even wearing my not even wearing my pin. How despicable of me. Um, this year is hashtag year of the bat and I have got my bat t-shirt on um, but let me just put my pin on. Let's put it here. I think there's only like 30 odd of these pins left. They went really really quickly flying all across the world um, so if you haven't got yours yet definitely pick yours up like now I will leave a link down in the description for you. Um, they're going super quickly and as soon as they're all sold, I will reveal the giveaway. But this isn't a pin video. This is a Halloween haul. So um, I picked up this. It is meant to be like a thermal travel mug and it does say, um, I think it came with the label. I did take the label off of this one, but I've kept the label and everything else. Um, on the label, it did say it was dishwasher. On the label, it did say, that it was dishwasher safe um, however it is not microwavable safe um, and it can be used for hot or cold drinks now I wasn't too sure from the pictures what this was last year they came out with loads of travel mugs which were made out of bamboo which are amazing and I still use mine very very frequently the only thing I don't like about them is the top of it is rubber and it does kind of make it a little bit hard to clean but this is a ceramic it is a white ceramic and the inside of it is fully white and then the bats have been kind of they've not been painted it's like almost like stickers like transferred on now the only thing I'd say about this I mean mine is absolutely fine but there were two in the TK Maxx where I bought this one from and one of the bats looked like they had like printed it on there or like stuck it on there and then someone had just smudged it and it had like smudged all the way down um but like I've had no problem like cleaning mine or like with it smudging and I've tried it with both cold and hot drinks now the lid again was another thing I was really confused about by the pictures because as you can see it kind of looks like half in half out I thought perhaps it had the same like rubber lid as the ones from last year did where like last year sometimes they took the lids and like folded them and then shoved them down so I thought perhaps this was the same thing but in fact this is like a fully plastic lid um it has a little kind of lip for you to pull on to take it off and then the top of it is just like a little slidey mabob so when you want to drink you slide it back and have a drink as you can see there's this gap here um or you can cover up and keep the heat in and then when you want to take it off you just put it there and as you can see it does have like a rubber seal all the way around it just to keep that liquid in now of course this isn't like completely liquid proof if you did lay it on its side 
stuff would start to leak out. It's pretty splash proof to be honest. The only thing I will say which um, I did capture on one of my vlogs but you may not have seen that one is because this lid is kind of dipped down um, you can't fill it up to the top so the first time I filled my drink up to literally where this kind of like this ledge is you can see there's like a ledge inside I filled it up to the top of there and then when I went to put the lid on I pushed it down and the drink just like came out, like out the sides it completely like overflowed it because that ledge is where the actual lid kind of rests so I'd say like safely you could fill up to sort of around here maybe like a couple of centimeters or even just a centimeter below that line and you'll be fine um, and then as you can see the inside is just plain now something which someone did mention um, they said they didn't think that it was going to be leak proof because it does have this little rubber thing on the bottom which I can see if I can get out there you go has this little rubber thing on the bottom now I think they thought that that was like straight through to like the drink compartment inside but in fact this is just I think this may be a cleaning thing I'm not 100% sure um, but it's no bother really it just sort of lives in there um, and basically it's because this is a thermal mug um, so there is a layer a very very thin layer between this top layer and then the inside layer so as you can see the inside is a lot smaller than actually the outside so there's probably about like this much thickness in the walls um, just to hold an air which as I said helps it keep the drink either warm or cold um, but yeah absolutely love this it's really really effective it definitely did keep my drink warm I think perhaps the bamboo one maybe kept it warmer for slightly longer um, but either way it's a good sized drink you get again slightly less in here than the ones from last year but it's kind of like the perfect size for a cup of tea um, or even like just a cold drink I did just put some juice in here the other day to keep it cold um, but I really really like this I believe it was 3 dollars so a very very reasonable price in my opinion like a travel mug usually costs between like five and ten pounds so I thought it was a really good price it seems like a super nice quality and I'm super excited to have the uh, like the first official TK Maxx hashtag year of the bat item <laughs> so um, I'm gonna show you two more things no three more things <laughs> which I got and the next three things I'm going to show you are all from HomeSense so that's the only thing which I've got from TK Maxx so far I have seen some like jars and things in TK Maxx but none of it quite floated my boat so the next thing I got is well it's going to be obligatory we've already had a mug I got a tea towel well I got a set of tea towels now these aren't the spookiest tea towels going but they are so autumnal and I thought that these would be perfect for my classroom and I'm gonna have to like ask you to beg my pardon already because from now on when I do hauls I will be considering not only buying stuff for my collection in my room but also my classroom and I thought that this would be a really cute like just a cute little tan towel to have in my classroom I have a sink um, and just bring a few more autumnal feels so it does have um, some autumn leaves in the background and I I'm actually in oak class so I thought that would like kind of work really well although they have all types of leaves um, and then on the front and I'm pretty sure it is yeah it's just like one per tea towel so there's like two tea towels in the set but on each tea towel there is one cat it's a little ginger boy um, and he's holding a little drink it could be maybe a pumpkin spice latte maybe a mocha maybe a hot chocolate maybe it's a cold drink who knows but he's got a lovely little drink there a scarf um, and he's just like a very cozy autumnal looking cat now of course I would usually go for a black cat um, but I thought this guy was really cute and it just it gave me such autumnal feels now this is let me tell you what it's made out of it is a hundred percent cotton so it means these are gonna be like super good super like long wearing they feel really soft which is why i was surprised they were cotton to begin with because it almost feels like a polyester it's so soft um but yeah it's really soft super snuggly this is definitely the type of um it's like the same as this pillow was originally um a tea towel it's like the same feel as like this um tea towel which is just like almost sleepable it, that's why i made it into a cushion because it is so soft but yeah i thought these were absolutely adorable they were 4.99 which 
every single year I say $4.99 it does seem like quite a lot for tea towels but you don't have to use these as tea towels as you can see you can make them into cushions I've seen loads of things I've even made one of mine into a blanket that lives at Mike's house you can do lots of stuff with the fabric itself or in fact just use it as a tea towel or in what I'm going to use this for is just like a hand towel in school um but yeah it's, it seems really nice it's by the company gourmet club um and yeah it just says machine washable and not to bleach it um so yeah that was my second my second item my first thing from home since i'm showing you today now the next thing i bought kind of like basically <laughs> it begins there's this black cat that i'm really after it's just a black cat sat on its own i have like a million just like cats just sat on its own um literally within reach i could just keep reaching black cats that are sit on its own it's kind of like in this sort of position but it's much more of like a furry cat there's like loads of texture to it now we did get the kind of like grumpy looking cats i'm literally looking at them right now but there is too much too many bags on my floor right now to be crawling over them um but they did like the scary cat i will insert like a picture here last year which has like the fur on it and the cat i'm after is very very similar to this in fact if i can find a picture of the cat i'm after i will also insert that now as well um but the cat i'm after is a little bit more friendly looking and it definitely reminds me so much of my kitten and i guess although it's not like overly halloweeny because it is just the black cat sat on its own i just think it is so cute and i definitely feel like it would go really nicely in my classroom but I have a feeling from like my spying all over the Halloween pages on Facebook that they do do the same cat on a pumpkin. So I was looking for that and then someone posted a picture of a cat on a pumpkin and a cat on a skull and it was a set. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I found the cat on the skull and I was literally in such delirium when I was in the store. I thought it was the same cat that I wanted, although it definitely isn't, but it's still a really cute cat. But this isn't the piece I was after. Um, however, they do actually sell the like this is the cat on the skull and the cat on the pumpkin thing oh my god I really hope this makes sense this is the picture I saw I saw someone had posted a picture of a cat on a skull and a cat on a pumpkin and I had figured that the cat on the pumpkin was the original cat that I was after turns out it's not turns out there's two cats on pumpkins already um but I bought this because I thought it would look really cool for like when I move out which hopefully we're working full time now hopefully it won't be that long well hopefully it'll be a few years now um, rather than four years um so i thought like when i have like a mantle shelf or some kind of shelf it would look really cool to have like a cat like on a skull like here on one side and then like one mirrored but on a pumpkin on the other side so that was kind of the idea and plus like it's a black cat I'm gonna be buying it so I got this one from the home sense I know that they do sell the cat or the pumpkin on TK Maxx's store I've been umming and ahhing and umming and ahhing and umming and ahhing about buying the one on the TK Maxx store because obviously it does cost for postage I think postage is around four pound and this alone is only 5 99 so it's like almost the same like same price of postage you can do click and collect but click and collect is one pound 99 and I have a really really strong suspicion that the TK Maxx um, that I'd have to go to to go and pick it up actually just has it in store already so I'm kind of holding back however like if there are more things that come on store that I want I'll probably just chuck it in my basket and want to do one big order um but yes here is the cat that I got Woo! god that was quite a marathon to get to that um he is quite a slender black cat um, and he is sat on the skull i love the fact that they've put his tail like coming down the side um and then it is like a relatively like bog standard skull there's nothing too exotic about this one however it does have a handy dandy little stewit what <laughs> little switch on the bottom i think someone had already taken out the plastic when I got it um but it does flash different colors um you've got like purples going on um more like pinky tones and the colors do change quite slowly it goes to green when I got this I thought it just had red eyes because the red I literally turned on the store I was like turn it on yep red eyes done and I bought it I didn't actually see all the different colors but it does kind of slowly just go into different shades um whoo, it is quite bright as with all the light up things I tend to only kind of light up on the night on the big night on halloween night i tend to light them all up but other than that they pretty much stand still um and just look pretty um so yeah i kept the 
the tag on just to show you um but yeah i like the fact it has a tag it means there's no crazy stickers or anything on it um it's quite a small little kind of compact guy he is like made out of a resin and he feels nice and solid i definitely would say if you are buying him from someone else like if you're like through the halloween pages i will leave them below as always if you are shipping like a thing to a friend or you're picking up something for someone i'd say this would be a pretty kind of safe thing to ship it feels quite nice and solid but you know you never know this cat unfortunately has brown eyes um he is still absolutely gorgeous but i think what i may do is add a little bit of green paint in there when i'm feeling feeling crafty his eyeballs do seem to like be a little bit wonky like the the pupil of this one's quite far along so i kind of want to alter it anyway but he is quite a cute cat and as you can see there is lots of detail and things in his fur so he is a really a really nice piece and i'm hoping i can pick up the one on the pumpkin i know that it's online and i'm just being stingy for not be, like paying the postage right now um but i'm hoping i can find his like other half in store so let me check there's nothing else i needed to tell you it just says i light up he was 5.99 oh he's got two tickets that say 5.99 um and then the rest just kind of basically says watch out for the battery so here is my first black cat um, from HomeSense. I am super, super pleased with him and I will just be adding him with my other standing black cats which live to the left of me on my Dragon's Vivarium. Um, and yeah, I think he is super cute. And then the last thing that I'm gonna show you which I got from HomeSense is of course, I mean, we've had a tea towel and we've had a mug and we've had a black cat ornament. So it's only about time that we have <laughs> a snow globe. <laughs> you guys know I love snow globes and I did really well last year I think I only bought like 10 um whereas the year before we don't talk about the year before now last year was hashtag year of the ghost and that's why like this whole thing stemmed from last year I wanted to collect go go goats definitely not goats I wanted to collect ghosts um and yeah that's why we made it year of the ghost and then there wasn't really that many ghosts around last year and I was like yo where are all the ghosts at and it seems like TK Maxx were listening to me and the home sense gods were watching down upon me because now this year there are a shed ton of ghosts so I did get this it is a bit of a salute to last year's year of the ghost unfortunately I did like look around the whole house there is no bats on here um, but yeah, there are bats inside, so I think it still counts for our hashtag year of the bat. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really cute. It's very simple. I do have a few which are very similar to those. Yeah, but <laughs> I loved it. I love anything with ghosts and haunted houses, as you will see from my next haul, because my next haul are all kind of house-themed things. So anyway that's the next haul let's talk about this it is a snow globe it's amazing quality as always i have to say if you're only going to pick up one halloween thing this year from home sense or tk maxx make it a snow globe now this is not a musical one some of them are musical some of them are not to be honest i don't really mind either way i don't play them that often this one costs 12.99 a very very reasonable price i think for the size and like the kind of effort that's gone into making these however it is very easy to go bankrupt when you're buying like three snow globes all costing like 13 pound a go um but yeah this was 12.99 a very kind of standard price it seems that even the small snow globes are 12.99 and even like the biggest one with musical bits in them are 12.99 um so a very very standard price and as always a really good quality um so it's pretty standard in the fact that it is like a resin bottom and then a glass top and then inside we have another kind of like little scene going on i'm just realizing like look around my room how many snow globes i actually own i think i may need to go on a program for like snow globe hoarders but anyway this is the snow globe it has a little haunted house on the bottom which actually fun fact year of the haunted house was one of the kind of options i put in the poll for this year although you guys did vote for year of the bat but maybe year of the haunted house can come next year um so it's a little haunted house here is like a purple house which i think works really nicely there is this random like shadow of a ghost flying around in the side not really sure what that's about but still cute um as you can see there's windows some of them are like some of them have the lights on some of them don't um again on this side oh, i forgot how heavy snow globes were to show you um so yeah it is a nice little detailed house and then on the inside let me get nice and close so i can show you there are these three little ghosts so the one on the bottom is very happy he's smiling and he's carrying this flag again all of it is completely 3d he's carrying a little flag that says boo and then the next one has kind of like vampire fangs 
and then the one at the top looks like he's just like having a ball looks like he actually is like on his way to bed actually to be fair um and they're all sort of like floating around in there and it's so cute and then let me see if i can capture for you the um hashtag year of the bats in there um but there's lots of there you go black like tiny black glitter and tiny like little black bat confettis um which is again a pretty standard pretty standard feature for the halloween um snow globes oh so yeah i am so happy with this i did spend a really long time trying to pick which one i wanted because i do have quite a few black cat snow globes and like i know i have quite a few snow globes with ghosts in them but i just thought like oh, there was something about this ghost one that kept calling to me and i really wanted it but i as i said i may be going back to home sense tomorrow so i may pick up the black cat one while i'm there um but yeah they seem to have a really nice range of snow globes this year definitely quite a few repeats from last year um if you guys aren't aware of how home sense and tk max work is they work on a three-year cycle so basically the first year they'll bring out like a couple of something so for example like this um pillow here um this is is like the happy halloween um trail pillow they bought out this as like a test run last year which meant there was only like one or two kind of maximum per store and it was only in limited stores and they basically look at how well it sells so if like loads of people buy it then the next year they bring it out kind of like in bulk <laughs> um and then once kind of everyone has like everyone from the year before has got the one they wanted if that makes sense then the third year it's just kind of like the last trickles come through so you can sometimes find things three years in a row so if there's anything from last year that there was like not much of then it, there's quite a high possibility if it was something that was in high demand last year that they'll bring it back this year so for example with this cushion i have already seen i think i've seen eight of them already in one store um so yeah they definitely kind of look at what sells and what doesn't and the snow glue and the snow globes are definitely like a big thing i think people were always buying snow globes um last year there was a snow globe actually it used to live in my background but like i've recently moved it it's now like up there it's just like a pumpkin on like a stack of books um and it's quite a simple snow globe it's nothing like really that complex but people really went crazy for it last year and everyone was looking for it everywhere me included so this year it seems like there's a ton of them in store because they knew that they were in high demand last year same with some of like the cat ornaments the ones which were really rare like two years ago there was loads of them last year and then this year you've still got a few trickles of them coming through so yeah it works on three year cycles so if there was a snow globe that you saw last year that you liked potentially if it was in high enough demand last year you'll see you'll be seeing it again this year and honestly it was quite scary going through them because i had so many of them already i was like got that one got that one got that one got that one although there is this really cute one which is like a pump like little pumpkins although they look terrifying but there's little pumpkins and they're like on a bed of candy corn i also absolutely loved that one um but yeah my first little halloween snow globe of 2019 oh so that was my first halloween haul from tk maxx slash home sense for this year i am so so excited to be coming back into halloween season it's also kind of quite scary because when halloween stuff comes in it usually means that it's kind of getting close to september and in september is usually my time for halloween shopping but you guys know and i know i don't shut up about it but i'm starting my new teaching job in september so i'm going to be so so limited as to like when i can go out and buy things um so yeah definitely 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 i'm going to be trying to get out as many halloween hauls as usual it's not a chore to be honest like i can buy halloween stuff until i am bankrupt which i already am bankrupt but it doesn't matter we'll just keep going yeah we'll just keep going um but i am super excited about these things and i can't wait to show you the next things in another video but i thought i'd break it up because i've already been filming for nearly half an hour and i've only shown you three things but i'm so excited anyway thank you very much for watching i will leave everything that you need down in the description below if you do have any questions comments please leave them down below if it's sunny where you are i hope you're enjoying the shade and i will see you next time bye